The Education Ministry is now weighing its options on how to get the affected schools started as soon as possible. Many schools have already started their classes in temporary tents. But there are other uh, uh, obstacles because you know, uh, a lot of quarters are also damaged, so we need tent to house the teachers temporarily. Uh, but uh, that is not a, you know, uh, that's a, it's a medium, medium solution. We need to um, construct, reconstruct the uh, schools. We need to construct uh, proper quarters uh, for staff so that you know, they are also motivated to perform uh, in the level that we are that's expected of them. Dr. Reddy has also confirmed that all severely damaged schools will be constructed by the government. 98% of the schools will start on 7th. Um, we will only lose one week, we can make up three. But there are schools in the Eastern Division which are badly affected. For example, uh, schools in Korwai, uh, Tavini, badly affected, Manwabalabu. These schools uh, might start, uh, might lose about two to three weeks of teaching time. Uh, we'll have to make up for it. Uh, weekends, uh, as well as the uh, holidays that we have. The ministry has been working closely with the Disaster Management Office to ensure arrangements are made for schools. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are gearing up, we are organizing ourselves. First thing is to get the school open. We are telling our school uh, and our heads that look, uh, electricity should not become an obstacle. We can do without electricity for time being. And water, we are providing temporary water uh, uh, supply uh, in where, in places where water is not available. We want to get the school started. The next step would be is to ensure that all the basic supporting um, stationary equipment, etc., are there. So that will be the next step. And then the finally, we will ensure that you know proper uh, buildings are constructed. The ministry will provide school kits to the affected students. Halitesh Tat, Fiji One News.